Welcome to another RoboCell activity. This is part two in our series of three for handshaking. In this video, we're going to go ahead and find all the points and all the coordinates for our cell. So let's get started. We'll grab our 3D cell. We're going to go ahead and move it up just a little bit. And we'll go ahead and save our camera settings. All right. For this one, one of the big things we want to make sure we do is turn on our dialog bars for inputs and outputs. So I'll go ahead and come up here to View, Dialog Bars, and I want to grab both of these digital inputs and outputs. By grabbing these, I'll be able to manually control the movement of all the pieces in the cell that were part of our cell setup earlier. So I'll go ahead and say Window and Simulate and Teach. That'll kind of reorganize it for me, get it all set up nice and neat. All right, so hopefully you remember um, one was our vice, two was our start cycle, and three was our feeder. So one of the big ones that I want to focus on first is the feeder. So if I come here and I click on three, hopefully what will happen is the block will appear. All right, good. Also, digital two is appearing, showing me that there's a block actually there. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring the robot from its home position down to the cube and then be able to pick the cube back up. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go ahead and type in our position 99, absolute. This time we want this little box right here for peripherals. A lot of you may right now have this box grayed out and it has to do with the level that you're on to. So you may be on advanced right now where that box is unchecked or it's grayed out that you can't check it. So I'll turn back on pro. 99, absolute. We really need this peripherals box highlighted. If we don't, it won't actually record anything about the slide base. So my best suggestion to you is make sure you select that for every single one of the activities. It's not going to hurt. Um, there's only a couple of them that really need it, but let's just go ahead and put it for all of them. So record. All right. Now that we've got that, we're going to go ahead and get this position down here. That's going to be our easiest one. So we'll manually open the gripper. And I'm going to use that send robot to object and click on the cube. Now it's easy. That's going to be our position one peripherals. Unfortunately, it's going to uncheck itself every time you type in a new position. So make sure you're pretty diligent about checking that box. Record. And as we've done before, 11 will be relative to one peripherals. I want to go ahead and expand my box, and I want to go ahead and make sure that 11 is up in the air. Um, we'll try 100, and we'll see what happens. So I'll go ahead and teach. Remember, there's a big difference between teach and record. So let's go ahead and close our gripper and see what 100 millimeters above it looks like. Straight up, that should work for us. Okay, next position, we're just going to kind of manually get something in here that looks pretty decent for position 100. And I know right now, just from experience, as I rotate this, it's going to end up clipping the shield. So one of the first things I want to do is go ahead and use my robot and use my points to pull straight back. So I know my X is straight back, um, but I want to know whether it's 1 or Q. So again, if you've got experience with it, you'll kind of figure it out. But um, whether I want to go forwards or backwards just takes a little bit of practice. So that looks good. And now I want to finally get away from the XYZs and manipulate one joint. So I want my joint one that's going to be the base, and one is going to be what rotates me towards the mill. So I'm going to rotate until I'm kind of 90 degrees. It doesn't really have to be perfect. Um, I just want to have a position that's, for the most part, pretty, pretty parallel to the front of the robot, or front of the mill, uh, front of that shield, anyways. And on my XYZ, I want to pull up until this red cube is above this cut in the shield. So you can see right now there's actually a little lip here that they've removed that will allow the robot to go over it. So I'll go ahead and pull up on the Z. And why not? That looks perfect. There we go. Okay, so that's going to be our position 100. Oops. Make sure we turn on our peripherals, and it's absolute, and record. It doesn't matter what any of these numbers say up here. As long as I'm hitting record, it's just grabbing the encoders. All right, so that was easy. All right, so this next one, before I actually do it, I want to make sure that you understand what the vice is truly going to do. So before I put a cube in here, I'm going to hit 
one. And as soon as I do that, you'll see the vise close. So hopefully what you're noticing is this gray one is actually coming forward and this big large gray plunger is coming forward. That's going to take our red cube and scoot it up into this corner. So what I want to make sure I actually do is take the red cube, when I put it in here, I want to make sure that I'm putting it pretty close to that corner. There's a couple little tricks I want to show you. If you actually push down too far, it can be a bad thing, and if you drop it, it can be a bad thing. You can actually drop it, unfortunately, through the graphics, um, and then you kind of have to start a little bit over again. But So I'm going to move straight over. I don't have to really be accurate with this. I'm going to allow the vise <coughs> to straighten up the block for me. So that's actually just a little bit too much, but okay. I'll just kind of manipulate it, bring it down a little bit. Now I do need to go ahead and twist this a little bit, do a little bit of panning. Um, I don't have to be perfect with it, um, but I want to be pretty close so that it's not um, dropping it through the bottom of the table. I have done that several times and had to start over. So I actually kind of like that. And then I'm going to pull back into the vise a little bit and that's going to be good enough. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. When I close the vise is what's going to make it perfect. So I'm just going to open my gripper. It's going to let go of it, and I'm just going to randomly lift it up a little bit. It doesn't matter how much, just away from the vise. Now I'm going to go ahead and push that one, and you're going to see it's going to square up the cube for me. Perfect. Now that it is perfect, I can use that send robot to object, and I know what's going to happen. As soon as I click on this, it's going to say that it can't do it. Um, you're actually clicking through the shield, or clicking on the shield. So you need to make sure that you can get above it so that you can actually click on the object. All right, there we go. So now that we're there, that is my position three. It is peripheral. It is absolute. Record. Thirteen is relative to three up in the air 100. Peripherals teach. All right, so now I can check them out. So let's see, what happens if I close gripper and I pull straight up to 13? Let's see if I can go back down. 13, straight back down to three. Perfect, nice and easy. All right, so um, we've only got a couple little more positions to get and we'll be done. So I'm gonna walk this back out to position 100. Good, and all we really have left is one more set of positions down here that we want to be able to record. So this is where I'm going to rotate the robot and slide it. So uh, I'll go ahead and go back to my joints. I'm going to go ahead and rotate the robot's base. As a matter of fact, why don't I just go ahead and send it to 11, and that will square it back up perfect for me. Now, that, there we go, there's 90 degrees. So now let's go ahead and slide the base. To slide the base, you can't be on the X, Y, Z. It doesn't give me the axis that I want. So where I want to really want is my axis seven. I know my number's a little bit shifted. That's just kind of a graphics error on my computer. So seven is what's gonna start sliding my robot down. So I'll slide it down, slide it down, slide it down until I get around here-ish somewhere. And same thing, I'll just go ahead and push it down into the table until I have an impact. Perfect. That's going to be my position two. Absolute. Peripherals. Record. And then position 12 will be relative to position two. Up 100. Peripherals. Teach. Okay, that should really be it. So what I want to kind of do is I want to walk through it real quick just to make sure it's doing what it's supposed to be doing manually. So we'll turn on the cube, go ahead and we'll do this really, really fast. So I'm going to fast forward through it just to kind of make sure it's working. And if it is, then we'll move on. There we go. Hopefully all your positions work too. See you in the next video.